buscaran cobijo en uno de los 460 refugios de emergencia antes de la llegada de este huracán, que bueno, pues como vemos ya aquí en pantalla está entrando por este país. También precisa que, bueno, pues es algo sin precedentes, esto lo dijo en una rueda de prensa. Y una vez eh, superado Puerto Rico, firma, pues probablemente va a estar pasando por el norte de la República Dominicana, las Bahamas, el norte de Cuba y va a alcanzar Florida a finales de semana. De hecho, la madrugada de hoy, estos lugares para irse hacia San Martín, donde causó daños importantes. Y otro lugar que también se vio seriamente impactado por Irma, la isla de Barbuda. Así es, en San Martín, bueno, pues los vientos llegaron a pues, velocidades de 295 kilómetros. ¡Se ha atropado! ¡Socorra! Yeah, and we've heard from a lot of people today saying, wait a minute, I thought it was going to stay to our south. Why are we under an emergency? We are not really expecting much in Virginia, just precautionary in case maybe a thunderstorm sets up over the mountains and causes some flooding or we get a little bit of minor to moderate flooding around here from the tidal you know, uh, effects. So not going to have much around here at all in Virginia, certainly not in Hampton Roads. As we can see, the storm just passing Ragged Island, not quite to Andros Island, going to pass between Andros Island in the Bahamas and Cuba continue to work its way as a category four storm for the next day or two. And then once it gets over the really warm waters, the Hurricane Center is calling for it to reach category five status as it hits somewhere around just east of Key West. Yesterday it was looking like just south or pretty close to Miami. Said there was you know, a chance it could be a little bit west of there. Now it is looking like that, still up the middle portion there basically of most of Florida. So that hasn't changed but changing slightly what we're going to see in terms of the initial impact area, and then it dies out once it gets up here over the southeast. In terms of the possibilities where it could still go, there are a few areas, a few models that still take it here back a little bit offshore from places like Tampa. There aren't many of them. Most of our better performing models take it right up here, the middle of Florida. So we're pretty confident that is what is most likely to happen. And these are the two major models, the American model and the Canadian. The American in pink, the Canadian in orange. And you can see they agree very nicely, unfortunately, for Florida on the storm coming right up there, the gut, right up the heart of Florida, and then continuing on into the southeast as just a tropical storm.